All right, we're hitting up Dover. This is the uh, Mr. Clean 400. We're hitting the the bathroom <laughs> portion of our schedule. We have we had Charmin. This is Mr. Clean, and then uh, New Hampshire is going to be the Crest 300, Crest Toothpaste. There we go. The two princes on the front row here. We're starting 12, P12. Might need radio silence here. Radio silence over. <laughs> Thought that was going to be a little trickier than that. Let's hope we don't run into a pit road merging issue here. We had a big wreck in our 2005 season on pit road merging. If we do have a problem, let's just hope it's, you know, only one or two cars involved. It doesn't take out 80% of the field or something. My name's Adam. Thanks for checking out the video. We flip the grid every race. We finished in the late 20s. At... Uh, Charlotte P29 I believe so we start 12 we start P12 here and then uh, the winner of that race Rosa Parks started uh, 40th this race and taking a look at those points Rosa Parks another huge jump she is now Stay Pop still in the lead Props to the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. But Rosa Parks is now only 15 points behind Stay Puft. And Stay Puft had a good finish there at Charlotte. And Rosa Parks has already made her way up to 35th. She's right on the Marshmallow Man there in the back of the field. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll try to. My goal is to finish this race because, because three two dnfs in the last three races are you kidding me with a win sandwiched in the middle we got to regroup now um in any other season in just a regular there's going to be three or four dominant cars in the field kind of season. We, we're done. We're toast. But we have, we have time to regroup. And it starts here where we can, you know, we start P12. We've been pushed back into the teens so far, but we'll, uh, we'll reload here. We'll be good. Been seeing a lot of Homer Simpson lately. That's the that's the Duff Beer 15 car in front of us. That's Hannibal Lecter behind us. I think that's Ray Finkel. Ahead of Homer Simpson. It looks like Super Dave Osborne. 
up there as well. Yeah, after the early going. Good racing in the side-by-side -side stuff, and now we're kind of digging in. Um, last time I was here at this Dover, we ran almost 50 lap runs. Fuel runs, I've dropped that down to about 40. 140 laps, 40, 80, 120, three stops. It's pretty good. And I had to check before the race where we were on pit road because this is one of those tracks that the pit road stalls aren't married to your starting position. Or they probably are, but they're just unrandomly random. So even though we're starting P12, our stall is near the very end of pit road. Meaning we'll be driving a while on pit road before we get to our stall. Prince in the lead here in the early going. In the standings, I have him as T Prince. I couldn't think of anything, any other first name other than the artist formerly known as. I think that's the only... I think that's the only name <laughs> I needed to come up with a first name for. Other series news, Dwight Schrute seemed pretty upset about uh, how poorly Schrute Farms was represented in those Pennsylvania races by Michael Scott, and he has announced that he wants to field his own team in the next silly season, Dwight Schrute. So we'll see if... We'll see if he can do any better in our next season. And I think I was talking about that at Charlotte. Some other names I've been thinking about for that next season. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of Davis Love the Third, the golfer. Don't want to use Tiger Woods or. I would use Greg Norman, the shark, but we've had our we've had our taste of Australia this year with Mick Dundee. But I don't know. Maybe Arnold Palmer in the uh, ice tea machine. That will be a that will be a Gen Six bullring. 2015 mod season. We've been really hanging out in the late 90s, early 2000s. Because guess what? That's what I was raised on, born on. That's where my best memories, my favorite memories are at. But, but who knows? Once I finish this season, I'm actually going to see what the next gen mod looks like. If it's made some progress since I checked it out in the uh, spring of 2022 and we'll go from there felt like we were closing on Homer for a while you just gotta run good solid laps here looks like that's DB Cooper challenging us now in our rear view Seems like we're closing on this next group. It could just be a mirage. But. Definitely feels like we're catching them. <laughs> this is just. This, this difficulty is just so solid.
I, I just, I just, they just don't bobble. They don't. They don't give us anything to work with. And if I recall correctly, this Dover also has a weird lighting, or it, the colors, the cars all look a little bit off. I can't remember. Okay, come on. We have something here. Outside. Yeah. So that's how we make a pass. Clear. Didn't bully him by any means when we could have. We should have bumped and should have just bumped him up the track, not caused the wreck, but just made him lose spots. He sabotaged us at Nazareth. A Judas esque betra uh, betrayal. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We've got about 10 laps until pit stops, and it's going to be our first test of whether or not the AI is going to have issues merging onto pit road or not. Dover is usually a big difference in tire wear between new and old tires, but since we're kind of running and gunning it here with a small fuel window, it just won't be that pronounced. Because I'm already thinking about surviving any merging wreck and caution. We don't want to be a lap down. We don't want to pit early. It's kind of unfair that we know that, and the AI doesn't, but... It's also unfair that Homer Simpson put one into our anus <laughs> at Nazareth, so we got to right the, uh, the scales of justice in the universe. Probably did a field snapshot here somewhere, you know, just showing the cars zinging around the track. Hopefully there's some racing going on. Because everything I can see is single file, but, I mean, that's what happens. And one of the, it's one of these tracks where the braking is so important and you're getting good, uh, shit and get off the turns that... It just takes a lot for the AI to make a pass. I'm guessing Homer fell in behind DB Cooper. Nope, Forrest Gump was on that train with us too and made a pass. Ah, don't look at the standings coming out of the turns, weirdo. We're fine. Car doesn't feel any different. Fresh tires will be hooked up and good to go. I think we actually got faster <laughs> after hitting the wall. Hey, there's... Looks like there's some kind of move Ray Finkel was trying to make there. Up, 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 yeah, uh huh. Up in front of us. It looks like they're, I guess, they're racing a little bit and they're slowing up some.
Yeah, they're making a move. That's going to slow up this pack. We're going to catch them. Very good. Got a couple cars making moves up here. It's Martha Stewart hung out to dry. Prince going in early, lap 39. It's not... It's not a given that there's going to be a merging... Pit Road merging crash here. It's not like we just run 40 laps and then... Wait for the caution and pit and then do it all over again the next run. If there isn't an issue, but we're we have to pit. We won't fix the damage. Because the leader's pitting now. Give me a speed limit here. I'm guessing it's 35. We were inside the cone. We did everything right there. Seems like it's 35 miles per hour speed limit. You're in fifth. We're way up here at the front of Pit Road. I see my sign just drop off. We'll sneak in here. Look out, fellas. Michael Scott just hit somebody. I can't see who it is. The the hue of this track is actually messing up my ability to, go, go, go. Keep it to recognize the cars. I'll take all this. Alright, we have a bunch of leaders pitting. We're not pitting. We're going to stay with some of these cars that are staying out here. Homer Simpson's out here. Martha Stewart. And I think Super Dave... Is that Super Dave? He's going to lead a lap. Super Dave Osborne leads a lap. Every driver has finally now led a lap 13 or over 13 races into the season. In turn two, setting up for the restart. A couple of developments. Uh, AT&T Lilly and Guy Fieri are out. With whatever happened there with Guy Fieri and Tim Taylor. That was not the pit road merging issue I was even talking about. But look at Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's on the inside here. A lap down. We're in fourth. We had some cars pit. Not all of them pitted. And Rosa Parks started fourth. She's in seventh. I don't know. I, I, okay. She's just, she's just insane right now. Okay. We got lap down cars. Um, I saw Amelia Earhart is still in the race, but she took a green, green, green. she took a wallop. I think that's her behind Stay Puff, and she's going to be slow. And that's going to let us get behind Stay Puff right here. We have plenty of time to get behind Stay Puff. Yeah, good good stuff here. Stay Puff isn't damaged. Neil Armstrong coming in super hot there. Maybe I just wasn't anticipating that. I don't know. Forty lap window, so we'll pit again. Man, Neil Armstrong is ready to rock right now. We're gonna get on our horse, crack the whip. It's 
percent. Keep our head in a keep our head on a swivel around lap 80. 30 laps from now. That's when pit stops may start happening again. But the caution laps sometimes you know, usually change that number some. Yeah, we gave the bottom up there. But fresh tires, we were able to, to hold that, not wash up the track. But that really slowed up Neil Armstrong there. Rosa Parks is now coming in behind us. But I think we've already hit the the fall in line portion of the run. Super Dave Osborne. As I mentioned, the final car to lead a lap this season. Hurt, no, there. I think she is. Yeah, she's Ouch. hurt. She took a hard fall off there. Okay. Boy, gosh, I hope she's okay. Martha Stewart. Something happened to Martha Stewart. Oh, man. Woke me up. Looks like you got some kind of engine problem there. Pit road is closed. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind the seven car. We're not having good luck here. This is going to be another DNF, I think. The pace cars on the front straight. We got to get down to our stall ASAP here. The pace cars in turn one. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. Pace cars in turn two. You're in the top ten. The pace cars on the back straight. Very tight quarters here. Wait, something's wrong. Come on, you guys. We had a problem with one of the tires. There's a lot wrong. Once we hear turn four, a couple of seconds after turn four, we gotta turn off the repair here. The pace cars in turn four. Go, go, go! Limit 35. Keep it under 3,000 in second. The pace cars on the front straight. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Sorry, buddy. I know you can make it up on the track. Stay behind the 72 car. And we'll stay out. We got some speed here. Yeah, keep an eye on Martha Stewart's speed. She she s slows down, starts to veer to the inside of the track just as we were making attempting a pass. Apparently, she had flat tire or something. We'll go super slow mo. Yeah, she's slowing down and she's starting to move. Oh, shit. She just moves down into our line. 
And we took out Stay Puffed. Michael Scott survived. And we lost Randy Marsh, Velma Dinkley, probably. Happy Gilmore, Cameron Fry. And the rest of those cars are going to probably survive. Pace cars, like. Okay, we're about to see if we have if we can compete here. But he had made a call out that we have something wrong with our engine there. So we'll probably toast and eventually going to DNF. But let's just hope. Let's just hope we can survive here. Homer Simpson in the lead on this restart. Green, green, green. Is there a slow car up top? Not sure. I don't trust my engine. Stay low. Clear outside. All right. I mean, we're not dry. we're not just like embarrassingly off the pace. But at the same time, cars they're just running side by side. Wait till wait till it starts getting real. Single file will be in trouble. Recent seasons, I've, I've always harp sounded like a broken record harping on how, how much good luck we have, how we don't get caught up in stuff, cars not blowing up in front of us. We've had to run the, we've had to just, it, it's just, we've been dealing with stuff all season. Cars blowing up in front of us, wrecks in front of us, AI car getting out of shape and just. Slamming into our side there, Martha Stewart. We just need our engine to hold up here. To hold on, I should say. Randy Marsh still in the race. I thought he took a pretty good shot. In that dust up. They're one of them. Something tells me we'd have to pit again for a fuel on lap 105. Martha Stewart got out of that unscathed. That was a blessing in disguise because I guess she was going to have to pit and go a lap down or two. Rosa Parks just missed us. Um, yeah, Marshall. Oh, I forgot to even see who was out. We don't have time really right now. To, uh, yeah, Tobias Fuque, Velma, DB Cooper. I didn't see where that happened. Happy Gilmore, I saw that. And the State Pop Marshmallow Man, I saw that. The State Puff. I keep on calling him Stay Puff the Marshmallow Man. Just like I'm always having trouble with Mona Lisa Vito. Which is how I'm just going to say her name from now on instead of just trying to say it. Just going to sing it. Mona Lisa Vito. Alright, we're in 19th. Car is actually holding up. Uh, it is possible to run like this after taking damage. 
we saw Indiana Jones at Charlotte, for example, do that. But I like being out of traffic now. Because we can get some air to the engine. And I honestly cannot believe we're competing. even just speed wise but also um, handling wise like the car is actually doing okay in the turns Prince Akeem starting to knock on the door here though and I thought Cameron Fry DNF'd too I thought he was taking a hard hit on that. I guess not. Homer Simpson, as I said, had the lead on this restart. He, he's still holding that lead. Rosa Parks to drop down to 10th. You want to talk about... I did check. She does have four straight top 10s now. You want to talk about unprecedented five straight well it is a, everything's unprecedented in these silly seasons we're doing uh but five straight top tens in this kind of flip the grid system that's gonna have to uh, that's gonna be some kind of record that's gonna stand for a while i mean of course everything's a record like i just said oh come on Prince Akeem just too strong right there, man. We don't want to race here too long. Because we're going to use up our tires. Cars behind us are going to catch up to us. Line up. Pass us. But we're back at her. Look at this. Clear. Let's just throw it in here. <laughs> Get in front of him. Very good. We're holding on to her right now, man. What? I think old Cameron Fry here in the Save Ferris machine is slowing us down. I'm trying to use him as a, you know, as a guide for our braking and everything. But he's just a touch slow. We gotta make a move here. I think we got him here. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we got you, buddy. Don't even. up there oh he's missing his uh, half of his car <laughs> and there's your problem who wildest lady jock come in and check out julio he'll hook you up right here who wildest who wildest, who wildest? Hey, how y'all doing this is julio with who wireless uh come and check us out we got anything you need as far as wireless go who wireless don't forget to check out who wireless next to subway equipment highway right here in Motrin. who wireless all right we're just sticking her out I don't even know if that's a, a phrase. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. We're just holding on. Waiting for this next round of stops, which will be for us around lap 105. Um, well, for everybody, pretty much. I think everybody pitted under that caution. Um... And 
just as long as a caution doesn't come out now and puts everybody right on the 40 lap window at the end of the race that would sting a little bit but I think we'll be fine now I'm wondering if I should if I should uh, fix repairs or make repairs on this pit stop Cars, the car's handling fine. There's nothing wrong right now. And I've actually gotten used to how it handles. These final 10, 15 laps of this run, though, have been tough on the tires. It's just, it's just handling a little bit differently because of the damage, but... We'll manage. Homer Simpson still in the lead. Hannibal Lecter. He's been the bridesmaid a few times recently. Bunch of first-time winners sitting there in the top ten. Michael Scott hanging out. That, I, I'll be honest, that was one of the first cars I checked. That's the first car I checked on both of those wrecks. Uh, just to see if he was involved or not. And he's survived. I think that was Lily. Again, these I've learned these cars. I can I can tell them apart. I can tell them. I can discern them pretty well from a good distance away. But the lighting here makes it just a little bit weird. Now right, everybody's pitting here, so we're gonna go in. We will not fix the damage. Let's get a caution right now, man. That would be fantastic. The leader's pitting now. He doesn't even give us a speed limit. I'm, I'm, I've been using 35 miles per hour. That's what we're going to go with. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3,000. Yeah, I could have the gauges up, but I don't. We had some... Okay, you're in second. Let's just hope we get... Dutch Vanderlyn to stay there. Good. We'll give you just a splash of fuel. Um... Did we lead a lap earlier? During some stuff. I can't remember if he said you're in the lead, Jack. Go, go, go. Yes, we nailed that. Good stop, stop boys. Limit 35. Keep it under 3,000 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Let's get on our horse. Oh, oh, did you see those two cars? Uh, uh-huh. I think it was Michael Scott, too. He almost became, he almost fell victim to the the pit road merging thing I've been talking about. Okay, hey, listen, P16. If we just hang on for 37 laps, we're in good shape here. A caution would test. All of, of all, all of my years on Earth would be just ex training for a restart if a caution came out. Because that would be just balls to the wall. Just life-affirming shit. After pit stops, Homer Simpson still in the lead. One and a half second lead over Super Dave Osborne. That's like, that's like a 30 minute lead. I don't like Forrest Gump right now. He's being super fast. I think maybe there is the potential that 
some of these cars we were racing back there before pit stops they were just slower period yeah I mean Forrest Gump has something we don't have right here we were able to we were able to race with Prince Akeem and then eventually pass him that's not the case with Forrest Gump, but that's at least trying to latch on to Forrest Gump, see what kind of line he's running. Let's see if we can hang in there with him. Boy, the car just wants to push. Nah, I still don't think it was worth fixing the damage. I'm glad we didn't fix the damage. Slow car on the apron there. I don't know who that was. Hopefully it was for position, though. May not have been for position. If I had to guess, that was Andy Warhol. It's just really messing with my brain that I can't tell these cars apart on the, on the lighting here. Meanwhile, we did kind of hook up with Forrest Gump, trying to mimic his lines, and we've caught up to this group. All right, we got super something super slow here. I think Tim Taylor's off the pace or something here. Michael Scott's up there in heaven, just able to actually make it to the second half of a race and actually finish it, possibly. That's Prince behind us, Forrest Gump ahead of us. Um, Michael Scott, Ray Finkel, Martha Stewart, two cars ahead, and I think that's Wayne Campbell. I, can't, I cannot tell who that car is in the middle. Jack Burton, maybe. Indiana Jones. Like, there's no way I should mess that up. It's just the lighting here stinks. It stinks. All right. Yeah, I guess Tim Taylor was having a problem and bunched up that whole group that we caught. But after giving up that spot to Forrest Gump, again, we've just kind of used him as a tour guide around here. And we're just winding down the laps and trying to make it. Jumping back into the action, we're hitting 17 to go at the line right now. And... We're starting to feel our tires are starting to betray us. All of the sawing we've had to do all over all this entire run is catching up to us. Don't want to lose a lot of positions here, man. It it is a miracle that we've been able to hang on this long. I was cursing this game left and right under that caution, man. Or during those caution laps. But we kept our cool. But, and it helped that the car was not, like, deceased. So. Yeah, started P12. Hopefully finishing in the top 20 here, so it's not a huge drop. Um, still haven't come up with an equation. 
for the points. There's just no way. There's just no way to do it. Um, but all told, or not all told, but uh, the next race is going to be New Hampshire, which is going to be a dogfight, breaking, trying to get perfect breaking perfect acceleration out of the turns just to make passes um, and as it stands we'll be starting in the back half of the field but we'll cross that bridge when we get there we gotta take care of business here Simpson, hold on to that. As, as much as I, I, we're over it, what happened in Nazareth? We're over it, and I'm pulling for him now because he would be through 14 races, 14 different winners in our series this season. And I mean, we're starting to it's starting to get dangerous. The more cars that keep. Uh, racking up wins becomes more and more likely that a repeat winner takes the checkers so or it would be a first time winner that would take the you know what I mean Amelia Earhart a lap down he made that call out a while ago Ray Finkel's four position up there we just we don't have anything for that Pass Amelia Earhart easily. Props to her battling. Took one of the harder hits I've seen that didn't result in a DNF. We do have full damage on, so. If we had moderate damage on, that first time I kissed the wall here would not have even registered. So I've changed my line a little bit to compensate for the tires. And we're hanging in there now. I was scared there for a second that we were going to really fall off. Oh, but you miss, you miss a little bit in a turn and they come at you. That's awesome. Remember Simpson? Still in the lead out there. Up there. Back, back there. <laughs> Wherever he's at on the track. Eleven seconds back, basically halfway around the track from him. And I still have to, I still have to dial in the New Hampshire track. I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and here it is. It's the next race. Yeah, I guess they just didn't have enough for Homer Simpson up there. Had to deal with some lappers, probably, with Amelia Earhart. That's been it. That should have been us, man. We were running with Homer earlier. Homer's about to take the white flag here and about. 
three, two, probably about now. It's just a hit. <laughs> this is excellent. Excellent. I mean, the best thing that could have happened was win the race. But after being in that wreck, oh, this is great. Could have been much worse, man. Much worse. And that does it for Dover. Take a look at Rosa Parks finishing top five. And she got a bonus point at the halfway mark. Remember Simpson got the win there. He also led the most laps. He'll be getting 50 points. And let's not sleep on Mick Dundee there getting the top 10. We find ourselves on the second page of the results here, finishing P17. And I record this, what I'm, what I'm talking right now, talking about the results. It's the last thing I record before I render the video. It's the last thing I add to the video. So it's been two, three hours since I, you know, recorded the race. So I've been able to calm down. And looking back, this was good. It wasn't awesome, but I mean, it could have been way worse. Nothing exciting on the third page here. Gus Spring, you don't want to see drastic changes in the uh, numbers in the back half. In the 21 through 40, you don't want to see single digits. Um, and uh, Randy Marsh and Gus Spring fit the bill there. Not good. And checking out the back page of the results, Cameron Fry finished P33. He was that car on the apron late in the race, not Andy Warhol. And it turns out the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is human after all. <laughs> He's Marshmallow. He's... I, might be his first DNF of the season. He's been leading the points. I'm pretty sure Rosa Parks is just going to be just bagging the field at the top of the standings after this. What a, what a run for her. We'll see if she can keep it going. Next race is going to be New Hampshire. And that's going to mark, at the end of that race, is going to mark the halfway point of our season. See you there. Thanks for watching.